Hi, my name is Peter from Best Drive Ireland. I'm going to show you how to fit your spare wheel today. A couple of things you need to have before you start even thinking about taking your wheel off the car. Uh, so we we'll just go to the back of the van and I'll show you what you need. So first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a spare wheel, your jack to jack the car up, a wheel brace, a high-vis vest, just to make sure you're visible when you're changing your wheel uh, on the side of the road. Now, a couple of pointers. Some of the modern cars don't have a spare wheel, and if that case, you'll get a, a tin of uh, sealant, which you put into the tire to blow the tire up uh, to get you to, the, to your local garage. Uh, but in this instance, we're gonna show you how to change the spare wheel. Okay, so you have a jack here, and on the jack you have a groove. That groove then, under your car here, you will see a lip along the line here, and that groove sits into here, like so. And then you would wind the jack up into the position under the car, under like that. Okay, all the way up until the car goes in the air. I would suggest before you start actually jacking the car up, most manufacturers will give you some sort of chocker or a block to put under the wheel to stop the car rolling back. So, offset the wheel that you're actually working on, put something like that under it, just to stop the car rolling back. So when we're changing, first off, to loosen off the bolts, you would lean slightly like so, and then you would go opposite where you've just been, and again, slightly like so, and then opposite again, like so. Again, like so. And again. Okay. And then you have all your wheel nuts slightly loose. Yeah. At this point, I would take the spare wheel that you have at the moment and just slide it under the car. So when you have the car jacked up, because these scissors jacks here, if you're not on really, really level ground, um, they can slide a bit. If the wheel is under it, at least you're protected, and so is the car. Now, what we're going to do is use our own trolley jack. In this instance, So when we have it up to a point where we can slide this fellow under, now we can jack the car up. Then with the wheel brace. You take the wheel off. And then what I would suggest you do, again, after removing this fellow, again, I would then slide this fellow under the body of the car as well. And remove this one. Yeah. It's just, again, while you're working on the car, you're making sure that you're safe in case the jack fails. And we put the wheel nut on, and then put the opposite wheel nut on, and then put opposite again, opposite again, and then opposite again. Okay, then we just tighten the wheel bolts up by hand. To start with, always going opposite. And once we have it tight, remove the other wheel from underneath the car and let it down. Then when we're tightening the wheel, as I say, the first one is... Just keep going until it, you feel the bite. And 
And then as I would say, go the opposite. Just make sure she's nice and tight up there. And the reason you would go opposite is to make sure that the wheel pulls in nice and straight. Again, push the bolts up by hand. Again, we're going opposite. And that's it. Once they're all tight, then just give your go go around the whole set of nuts again, just to make sure they're all nicely tightened. So that's how we change our spare wheel. Best driver here always to fix your punctures or help you out if you need to get your puncture repaired after putting on your spare wheel. Thanks a minute.